Okay, y'all. This is Swan Lake Park next. <laughs> Part four, I think. My fourth video. So, I'm still working with this collection. Let's just get started. Okay, here we go. The next card in our series. I just want to say for the record, do you see why I'm getting rid of this? <laughs> <laughs> so this card I used some tattered lace dies that had this shape and I just this is going to be matte and layered as usual um really okay so I'm a matte and layered this piece Okay, so we're gonna matte and layer that piece, set that aside. And then I cut open, I cut open this aperture in there. And so we're going to matte this piece onto this. And this is another one of those textured papers. I think this is all Crafter's Companion or it may be uh, Recollections um papers i'm not really sure but they the whole pack is got different textures on in it so i'm not really sure and so this is going to go right in the middle and when i'm doing these kinds of cards don't forget you can write right on the back or add a note on the inside because i'm showing off the papers and so this piece goes right here it's funny because you have to put it exactly right or it don't fit. So that one goes like that in there. And then this piece is going to go right on top of it. Okay. And all of them were cut with a mat and layer. So this is upside down. This is right side up. Okay. It's, it's matte and layered. There we go. So that's the matte layer correct for that piece. And so how I did the matte and layer part, I literally cut out, I, I matted the two pieces together first, just like this. And then, is that right? Or did I turn this card upside down? No, that's not right. Oh, yeah, this, this is right. Okay, so what I did was I matted this card front like this, and then I put a little tape in there, right, to keep it together, and then I die cut it as one piece. Ugh, just pull that up. And I die cut it as one piece, okay? So then you automatically get the correct mat and layer. Like that, okay? And then I put it on here. Just like that. As a mat and layer. And then I cut out that center part. So then all of them are mat and layered correctly. But when you have a piece like this that has a different die, you got to make sure that you put it back on in the right spot. Like, because you see how it's not fitting, it might be upside down. I don't know that. This is right side up. I just have to put it on right. And see, that makes the matte layer correct. Um, I just want to pull this in just a little bit. Just a little bit. Pull in. Whatever. Okay. So there that, there you go. And then you open it just like that. You can put some acetate in there. You can make this a shaker if you want. I just wanted this to kind of stick right there. That's where I wanted it. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put some tape here and tape at the bottom and this is going to go right here my heart belongs to you super cute there you go 
That's the first part. Let's grab the next one. Okay, so this card is one of um, card base is from Stephanie Bernard. Um, God, what's the name of her collection? I can't think of what her card, uh, what her collection is called. But it's a, it's a membership. Let me let me look her up right quick on my iPad because the my iPad is right in front of me. Um. What is her name? Can't think of what her name is. Um, mm, Y'all, I can't remember what her name is. I know her name is Stephanie. Let me look um, in my subscriptions because she, I think she does the Crafter's Corner or something like that. Oh, where are you? Okay, y'all probably don't even care. Um, but I want to find it because now that I'm looking for it. Oh, Stephanie Bernard, I think is her name, though. But this is her die. Oh, crap, Ola. I just seen a video from her, too, in my timeline. Let me go home and maybe I'll see it. Um, I like to give credit where credit is due. Um, she has a membership that I used to get all the time and she has all of these cute little, her cards were, are very cute to me, um, but they're like kiddish and I don't have a lot of children. Well, I do have granddaughters, but I don't make cards usually for children. And so her, her cards have like cute little stuff on them. Where is it now? She show up every freaking time that I'm looking for something. She show up, and but when I need her to show up, she don't. Really? Come on, YouTube. Her name is Stephanie Bernard, though. If you go, how about that? If I look up Stephanie Bernard, Stamps of Life. That's her. Stamps of Life. And y'all probably even knew that. Like, Stamps of Life, Geneva. Okay, so this is one of her card bases. And this is super simple. It's a center step card. A2 size. This is an A2 size. So it's really just making sure that you put those folds in the right spot. And so, down, up, down. <laughs> I'm always saying put it in the right spot, but do I ever? Something is always go bananas and bonkers. There we go. It's a center step card. <laughs> and it goes just like that. Can you see that? Yeah, y'all can see that. And so the dies come with, and so this mats perfectly like that. And there's only one mat. There's not like a double mat, which I guess I could have double matted it, but I did not. I just use this one mat and this goes right here. Super quick card, y'all. That goes just like that. Now, it took me a minute to figure out how to do it the first time. Oh, there you go. Like that. And so that goes like this. And then all of the pieces are just really pieces, except these two. These are matte layers. These, these matte right on here this one goes here and then this is another matte layer breaks my heart to cover up these little women and this one goes here wait how did this, this step go yeah it goes here okay so that's how this goes <laughs> center step like that you know um when i have center step cards sometimes i like to put braces on the sides like the little zigzag braces so they won't open up like that um but the key sometimes is to make sure that you score it very well that you score those score marks so that it'll stand up see okay and then this 
is going to go right there. So we're going to put her right here. And if you notice, I don't put glue and tape all over because the movement is the fun part, right? To me, it's the fun part. And so we're going to put him going that way. We're going to put him going that way. Just like that. Super cute. We're going to put our little cathedral right here. And we're going to put our moon in the sky right here. Look at it. It's just super cute. It's just a cute, quick card. Put your, you know, whatever you want to write. Not necessarily on the back, but a note inside. And it's just a cute card. My die cutting with that wasn't that good, but I think this was probably midnight. And I was like, okay, I'm good. It's a sample. Y'all might not even notice it until I told you. Okay, there we go. Next card down. Let's pull from our stack. Here's the next one. Okay, this one was um <laughs> this one was a funny card to me. And if you look on Sarah's thing, she didn't she might have made it, but it's inspired from that same video. And so what I did was this is a five by seven card base. It's scored in the middle, and then it's die cut directly in the center right okay die cut in the center and then this piece gets matte and layered right here and i'm going to show you what i'm going to do um with this with the matte and layer part because i did not know how much i was going to have to cut off and I decided to cut it off once I got, once I start making it. Okay. So these are, they match. They all match just like this. See, that matches perfectly. And then you just take this and take your scissors and you just cut off your extra. And all you do is butcher scissors up against your card base. And then cut off your extra. Try to keep your scissors straight though. Don't tilt or you'll have extra. You'll have extra. Okay. I don't want to get that crooked. Help me. In. It's just. I'm going to just move, pull that up a bit. And it'll lay pretty much where you're supposed to go pretty much and we're not gonna worry about it because i can cut this part off that's a little crooked because even every anytime that you have anything that's a little crooked just go in and cut that off and you got your scissors laying up against your card so you don't cut the card base itself right okay so now we got that and then this card piece is the center what the what the heck in the world oh, that's the back okay this piece fits right in here and I'm bringing this down a mat and layer in it right there not in the center just like that because this now is an easel and I forgot I have to cut this off because it stops right there okay and then this get cut off right here because this now stands up like this as a it's an easel but it's a modified easel y'all this is so cute when I seen it and then what you do is you take this piece and you put it right there so I'm going to take my glossy accents and put it on here because that tape runner is driving me bananas and this little spot will get on my nerve. So, okay, so then I can take this piece and this is just a piece that's cut out 
from the die. Same die set that I use for this. And this just lays right on here because it all is the same die. I use the same die to cut this out, okay? And so this part is like that, and then that stands up, and then you take your, I got my little swanny pieces. This is matte and layered. On the little swan. And that's why I didn't care about that other piece being long because this piece is going to go right in the center like that okay and then our lady and man is going to go right there so it's like put a little tape and a little tape and our lady and man is just gonna go right there and you can put, like, the way she did it, um, she had, like, uh, acetate in there. She had acetate in there. But I just, I didn't want to put any acetate in there. This is crooked, little duckling. Let's see. This tape is very forgiving. That is really a plus. It's very forgiving early. Okay. So, see? And it's just different ways you can do your cards. Super cute. Thank you, Crafters Companion. And is that card number three? Yep, that is card number three. So I will see y'all in the next one.